Hello everybody, this is part 4 of the Rhino modeling demo of the Mid Journey concept design. And in this part, I would like to walk you through the process of creating this feature over here. Okay, without further ado, let's start. Switching to the top view. Okay, let's set to wireframe display. I'm going to add the first curve, which is a circle, corresponding to the top part of the feature. And then I'm going to add another smaller circle, corresponding to the bottom part of the feature. I'm going to draw a line that is corresponding to the horizontal feature, and I'll use that to estimate the positions of the various uh, curves. somewhere here ok I'm going to add two vertical lines that will be the edge of the feature maybe I should delete this one and use the mirror instead so that both lines will be of the same length ok I'm going to do offset of the various curve <coughs> These new curves will form the basis of the edge of the opening. Okay, now I'm selecting these curves and I'm going to do a trim to remove the unnecessary regions. Okay, I think we got our outer edge curve done up. Going to move it up for the time being so that we can focus on building the main feature. Okay, what I'm going to do now is probably to project the curves onto the main surface. But before that, let me do a little bit of like trimming work and joining work to reorganize the curves. Okay, okay, I've projected the curves onto the top surface. use okay, take out the project okay going to draw a line that will be used to form one of the profile curve for the top feature okay, going to select these two points align to object and going to drag them up. Maybe just adjust the control points a bit. Okay, going to split this so that we can get three curves that can be locked into a button like surface something like that okay I think we got our first feature part done up now I want to build the long feature okay I created a line I'm going to project it onto this button like feature and I use the projector curve on the surface as a cross section for the long feature. Let me join this curve first. 
then split them into half using a point. Cutting object is point. Okay, now I have two half, which will be the rail for the long picture. Okay, sweep two rail, first rail, second rail, cross section. Okay. Great. I think we got the main forms up. Now I want to build uh, another feature on the big round area. Find the center. I projected the curve which will be the basis of the new detail. I need to do a trim. Okay. Now I think I need to like create like a cross section in order to build the top detail. Let's use the interpolate point curve. Set to degree 3 so that we have two control points in the middle to play with. So I'm going to move this up. Okay. Maybe I should use the lofting method again <clears throat> to see whether I can get a top feature done up. Okay, so like this, I'm going to split into two half. Split using this. Okay. Now use log again. Let me repeat this. One, two, three. Enter. Okay, we got the top feature. Let me select these curves and hide the rest. Let me trim away excess regions. Now I want to extrude those surfaces into solids. Something like that. Let me hide the original surfaces first. Let me union all these solids. Okay, I think I need to cut away the bottom section to make it look a bit neater. Okay, to extrude a surface from the line and use the surface as a cutting object. You can use boolean split. Okay, done. Okay, bring back everything. Okay. Now, I think I need to cut the opening. I'm going to select these curves, drag them into a surface, or rather into a bunch of surfaces. And then use these surfaces as cutting object. Okay, done. Let's bring everything back. Okay, now let's sell these solid parts. Okay, 
also select the reference image and hide the rest. Okay. So far, I think it's looking fine. Okay, maybe I should assign some materials to the new beaches. Maybe I should cut the thing into two separate pieces. Draw a line and use it to cut. Let me repeat this, sorry. I'm going to take this line and extrude it into a flat plane and then use this plane as a cutting tool. Rolling split. Okay, two pieces already. Sign the materials. Let's evaluate the created features. Somehow I feel that the top circular detail can be further improved. Its top and side profile are not corresponding well in my opinion. I'm going to extract it. And let's unhide the other parts and curves. I'm going to select the initial curve that I used to create it and hide the rest so that we can focus on the work at hand. I'm going to use the extra axle curve to create new cross section profiles. I need this anymore. Delete it. Let's bring back the rest of the objects. Okay, now I need to split these curves into four pieces which will become the cross section of a new surface. Using the split Now I need to adjust the control points to the new desired profiles. Yeah, something like that. The previous profile was too flat by the side. I'm to use the sweep one rail to create a new surface. Set auto chain to yes. One, two, three, four sweep shape or cross section. Close sweep. Okay. To extract, copy the top surface, and then I'm going to join the rest of the surface into a solid. Okay, now I still need to build another feature which is the metallic ring. Okay, I think I need to use this. But firstly, let me hide this part and paste back the, the duplicate of the top surface. Okay, I'm going to use this curve. Let me rotate it a bit better. 
character, scale it proportionally. Oh, sorry. Let me repeat this again. Pressing and holding the shift key for proportional scaling. Maybe something like that. We trim off the unwanted region. And then we use this part to extrude into the ring. Can move it out a little bit. I'm going to click the extrude dot to extrude into a solid ring. Maybe scale a little bit bigger. Pressing and holding the shift key for proportional scaling. Make it slightly bigger. So that this will make it easier for us to do the boolean operations. Okay. Let me adjust this. I maybe have to copy this again. Copy. Let's do a boolean difference. Okay, great. Uh, let's assign the materials. Okay, paste the ring back. And maybe let's give it a metallic material. Go to metal, polish, polish chrome. Okay, I think we are more or less done. Okay, with that, I come to the end of this part of the demo. Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.